South Carolina, big rally. A lot of people, thousands of people outside, and it's going to be very exciting. Uh, we have a big day tomorrow in terms of the Democrats watching, see what happens. And then on Tuesday, you have a very big day, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we're at the same number. A lot of people are getting better, very much better. The 15 number, plus we took it, as you know, from Japan. We took in some great American people and citizens, and they're getting better very rapidly. They're doing very well. All of them are doing well. Uh, the 15 people, likewise, we have them down to a much lower number. They're in good shape. Most of them are in really good shape. Uh, one of the uh, people is, uh, uh, I wouldn't say not doing well, but it's uh, very, she's very sick, but she's hopefully getting better. Uh, but we're at the same number. We've only, so it, essentially we've only had 15, and a lot of that's because I called it early. We. We, were, we made a decision very early to close up our borders to certain areas of the world, and we did that. And so we are uh, hopefully getting lower from that number, but let's see what happens into the future. Uh, some countries are doing well, some countries are not doing well. You can see that for yourself. And a lot of things are happening. We're very well organized. We have great talent, great doctors, great, great everyone. Uh, this tremendous spirit. A lot of spirit, and uh, as you know, with the flu, on average we lose from 26,000 to 78,000 people a year, even more than that in some, some cases, some years. We haven't lost anybody yet, and hopefully we can keep that intact. We, there have been no deaths in the United States at all. A lot of that's attributable to the fact that we closed the border very early. Otherwise, it could be a different story. So we'll, uh, we'll just keep doing a good job. We're ordering a lot of supplies. We're ordering a lot of, uh, a lot of elements that, frankly, we wouldn't be ordering unless it was something like this. But we're ordering a lot of different uh, elements of medical. We are working on cures, and we're getting some very good results. As you know, they're working as rapidly as they can on a vaccine for the future. And with that, I think I can head out. Well, I think it's uh, just people don't know. It's the unknown. You know, they look at it and they say, well, how long will this last? Uh, I think they're not very happy with the Democrat candidates when they see them. I think that has an impact. And uh, we, think, we think we're going to win. We think we're going to win easily, but you never know. It's an election. I don't think that's helping. Uh, but I think that basically it's the unknown a little bit. But I feel very confident, and our people are doing a fantastic job. And again, we haven't seen an increase, and people are getting better. Almost everybody that we see is getting better. And it could be everybody, too. And how much time are you spending on it? No, I, well, I'm spending a lot of time on it, just in coordination. Mike Tense, Pence is doing a great job. Uh, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci is great. Uh, they're all doing really a fantastic. Alex Azar is right on top of it. We're all watching it very closely. We don't want any bad surprises. What is it? Should NATO be involved in protect, helping the Turkey to protect its soldiers in Syria? You're going to have to speak up. Will this you, thing sir, is. Should NATO be travel ban to countries that aren't allowed in, for example, from Italy? Well, we're looking at that right now, and we're looking at a couple of countries, a few countries that have a little bit disproportionately high number. And we're going to make that decision very soon. Well, I think that the uh, media is, yes, I think that CNN is uh, a very disreputable network. I think they're doing everything they can to instill fear in people. And I think it's ridiculous. And I think they're very disreputable. Uh, and some of the Democrats are doing it the way it should be, but some of them are uh, trying to gain political favor by saying a lot of untruths. The fact is, I made one decision that was a very important decision, and that was to close 
our country to a certain area of the world that was relatively heavily infected. And because of that, we're talking about 15 who seem to be all getting better. One is questionable. And had that decision not been made, it could be a much different story. So some people are giving us credit. Quiet. Some people are giving us credit for that. And some people aren't. But the only ones that aren't, they don't mean it. It's political. It's politics. So speaking of politics, I'm going to South Carolina. I think we're going to do fantastically there. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Thank you. All right, folks, thank you so much for choosing Golden State Times as your news source. If you enjoyed our coverage of President Trump doing a press gaggle or a chopper talk, that's what they call it now, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and you share it on social media. Also, if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button and the notification bell because President Trump is having a rally today and we are live streaming it. So it should be coming up on your screen. Click on the live stream, set the no set the reminder, set the notification and stay tuned because we are going to start the rally, the rally stream very, very soon here at Golden State Times. I will also link the rally uh, the where the where it's going to happen in the comments section below. So I'm going to link it in the comment section below. Go and check it out. Thank you so much for choosing Golden State Times as your news source. And I hope to see you guys at President Trump's rally stream happening very, very soon. Thank you so much, folks. And I'll see you there.